Hi everybody, today we're going to make American Butter Cream Frosting. You can find the link to the full recipe in the description below. We're going to begin with two sticks of softened and salted butter. Just place it in the bowl of your KitchenAid mixer and that's been fitted with the whisk attachment. Mix the butter for three to five minutes. We just want to make sure that it gets nice and soft and you probably will have to stop a few times and scrape the butter from the sides of the bowl and get it out of the center of the whisk attachment. This recipe calls for five cups of powdered sugar, also known as confectioner sugar. Right now we're only going to add four cups. Just add one cup at a time and mix well, like one to two minutes in between each addition. And you will have to stop again and like I said and get the powder I mean get the butter out of the whisk attachment and off the sides of the bowl. While the butter's mixing, I like to lift the one side of the KitchenAid mixer bowl so that way the whisk attachment can grab the butter. This just helps stop us from stopping every minute or two to scrape down the sides of the bowl. I'm sure KitchenAid mixer doesn't approve, but I won't tell if you don't. Next we're gonna add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and three tablespoons of milk. You may have to add a little bit more or less milk depending on the consistency of frosting you want. Once you add the milk, turn the mixer on low so it doesn't splash all over you. Gradually increase it and mix for one to two minutes and you probably will have to stop and scrape it the sides of the bowl and the whisk attachment again. Next we're going to add the last cup of powdered sugar and mix for three minutes. Be sure to stop during that three minutes and scrape down the sides of the bowl again. This will just help us make sure that all the ingredients are mixed well. This recipe makes three and a half cups of frosting and you can store it in an airtight container on the counter for up to three days or you can keep it in the refrigerator for one week or you can even freeze it for up to one month.